Welcome everyone to listen to Lynn and what she needs to share about the um, the shofar and it is um, shofar time. It is, yes. So we're going to, um, greetings everybody, I'm so glad to be here again and um, so we're going to start with prayer and then I am going to, um, well let's start with prayer and then I'll give you a little, a um, uh, little uh preview of what I'm going to do and then it'll explain things better so Lord thank you again for this opportunity to um, explore about the shofar again Lord you reiterated to me that it is your voice that you're speaking through the shofar you're, you're saying things through the shofar and so Lord we trust that that that's is what you're doing and today we're going to have a little um, I, I, I kind of want to say experiment but you, I mean, you're going to show us, Lord, just exactly how it works. And so I'm excited about that. Michelle's excited about that. And so we just ask that you be the Lord of this whole session in Jesus' name. So okay. with that said, I asked the Lord this morning to give me something, some way to blow the shofar. And he gave me an, an idea of what he was saying as I was blowing. So we're going to take it further. So I, I'm doing, I'm obeying him and I'm, I'm going to play what he told me to do. And I can liken it to like a worship band or uh, somebody that's playing in a, a musical worship band and the Lord is leading them by their Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. But you know, when we all listen to a worship band, we're all in different places, right? And so we can hear different things and the Lord ministers to us in different ways. So I'm going to play what I, the Lord gave me. Then I'm going to ask Michelle to see if the, you know there's any way that the Lord impressed on her, said anything to her, and then when she says what she says, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what the Lord told me, what the basis for what I I do. So here we go. Okay. okay. Oh, and we're I'm using the Yemenite, which is the big one, and so let's see what happens. So. Okay. It was interesting because um, I first felt like God was telling me that it was a sound um, that he was making for revelations to call, um, to release revelations to us. That's what I first heard him telling me. That was before you played it. Oh, that's very exciting. And so... <laughs> Yeah. When you say that, we're, we're like ready to hear what he has to say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. like, get ready to listen to the revelations he's going to release. That's what I sense him telling me before you blew it. And then I felt really strongly in my spirit that he was trying to communicate something special to us. It's a time of releasing something for us. So that's wonderful because it, okay, so it ties in with, okay, we're so, we're in a group, and Michelle and I are in a group, and we're in the group with all of you, and so, and you know how body ministry happens, and so Michelle's sharing what she got, and so what, what I felt the Lord said to me was there were, if you remember, there were five blasts, which is grace, and it talks about grace, and then there was a little bit, da, 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 and that was like, the Lord, you know, the way the world is, we're in a battle, right? And so the Lord wants to remind us in the midst of this battle, his grace is there. And I got, I feel the Holy Spirit on me right now. And I did it three times, which he said speaks of the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So it's a re, it was a reassurance. Gra I'm giving you grace in the battle. I'm giving you grace in the battle. I'm giving you grace in the battle. And I also thought that was interesting that he repeats it. And doesn't he do that with us? He'll repeat saying the same thing if it's important. So, so here, here's Michelle saying what she said. And that, you know, if we were like in a Bible study or something, we could fur further ask different people. So what did you hear? What did you hear? Mm. And, you know, it's such the atmosphere. So this week, the 
this for my Bible study when it when it went in. There's four of us that meet regularly, and I was I was we were just getting ready, we were chit chatting or whatever, and I saw that the Lord said, "I want you to blow a shofar." And so you, I will use it in that case. I'll just say I, to the other girls, you know, women, um, you know, I felt the Lord tell me to blow a shofar. And what I felt was the Lord wanted to clear the room, clear the room, clear the room. And you know how, um, you know how you heard the term clear the air. And, you know, so that speaks to there's, you know, something, there might be tension, there might be activity that's going on and you want to just clear the air. You want, I felt the Lord wanted us to just be listening to him. Um, and he, and by blowing the show far, and honestly, we all felt we could sense it. So then, um, you know, we just we just talked about different things, and then at one point, um, I felt led to um, start our our discussion. And for all of us, we felt like the Lord was speaking to us about His glory. I'm telling you, we were we were in His glory. We all felt the presence of God. It was so so rich, and it was so deep, and and to the point where. We were just awed, just awed by his glory, moved by his glory. And we were we were actually silent for a long, long time. And, you know, it's hard to be silent sometimes, isn't it? You know, and yes. I know in group, you know, you might get people, you know, you're you're in this place. And well, actually, I should say you could get people, it, you know, it does happen where people, they're so eager and they might say something. So anyway, and say something. And sometimes, you know, the leader would have to like step up. And if they felt that that was disrupting the silence, whatever the Lord was doing, they can, you know, very gently say, let's, you know, continue to listen to the Lord. But I'm telling you, it was very, very powerful. So I thought that I would share that with you, like how the Lord uses, is using it in, in, you know, in our time. And I happen to just hear from other people that um, there's some so far ministries actually I, one was mentioning one in florida that there's a group of people that go out with their shofars and you know as, as led by the lord they go to different places and, and blow it and um you know so something like that's going to take a lot of obedience right to go out into the public blowing the shofar and the lord brought me back to my testimony which was when my first time I ever talked to somebody in public and gave them a word, a prophetic word, it took a lot of, uh, it took a lot for me to finally get up from the place I was sitting to go over to the man to, to, to say what I said. And again, it's like, you know, obedience is, you know, obedience is what made the whole thing happen because I couldn't continue to sit there. And so it's good to know that people that do step out because people look at me sometimes because I have stepped out where I talk to people in public and people look and they go, oh, wow, you know, wow. She must have something I don't have. Well, no, I have what you have. And it's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and, and I have to obey him. And I just want to share that with you. I do have experience with talking to people out, out in the public. But every time I, I have to make a decision and have to press through fear. Yeah. I do because you know with the, it's just kind of a thing that's in us. We want acceptance and whatever. So you know, with that said, I just just so wanted to encourage all of you in any way that the Lord has called you to you know move out with Him. You know, we have a sick and dying world out there that needs to know the Lord. And mm. you know, I think when I think about you know, am I going to withhold the treasure that I have? So, so many people are going to be born in if I if I take that step in faith and just do what it is that he, that he asks you to do. And I'm telling you, the rewards are great. They really are great. That's so true. So, it is. So that's what I have to say about the show for today. That's so good, Lynn. I, I was just wondering if you wanted just to blow it again for those that have just listened to what it all meant um, in case okay, they missed sure. it. Yeah. Oh, sure. absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, so another thing that I just wanted to say, as I take my drink of water, you know, um, so when you're blowing any kind of horn, you, you need to wet your whistle. Okay. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow. Okay. You know what I what I just said before. Wait. 
So five being the number of grace, three times, speaking of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, um, interspersing them, the Lord saying, in the midst of this battle, what we're, what we're going on in the world and all of our countries, and we all are going to battle in different ways. Mm -hmm. His grace is sufficient. Amen. So, That's so good. Well, um, if you'd like to close in prayer, that'd be really beautiful. I would, I would. Thank you. You know, Owen, I am. I don't see the people that are listening to this, but I, I feel connected to them already because they're my brothers and sisters in Christ. And so, Lord, I just feel such an honor to be able to share what you're showing me through the through the shofar by your Holy Spirit. And I just ask, Lord, that you would just encourage all of us, all of us, to listen to your voice in any way that we're listening to your voice, whether it's the sound of the shofar, whether it's in silence that we hear you to do something, Lord, whether it's, um, Lord, as, as I shared with our, my prayer group, that we were able to um, together just, um, it was like when we, I blew the shofar towards the end, that part, Lord, you, the glory came into the room and we were all in this place of awe and we we were just stayed silent for, for quite a while and just basked, basked in your presence and in, in your glory. And Lord, I just feel like you were pleased with that whole thing because it was like what you were communicating. We got it. It's like, you know, when you're trying to communicate and somebody hears you, you just feel a pleasure. They got it. So... I just want to bless all of you and just you all uh, can hear the Holy Spirit. Just do, even if it's a little thing, just do what he asks you to do. And that's where it grows from little things. And then they grow into bigger things. And we just bless you. Father, we bless you, Holy Spirit, and bless you, Jesus. And I bless all of you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, Lynn, for joining again tonight with um blowing the shofar and explaining it to us more details about it and we just want to thank you prophetic art studio um community for joining us as well we bless you as well have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful week with god yeah thanks bye bye, -bye.